Hello friends, welcome to our new series on probability theory and this is going to be the part of math essential for machine learning and in this series we are going to uh, see how probability theory is used to create machine learning models where the outcome of that uh, are either random and or uh, quite complex and we, we are not too sure that what will be the outcome in such cases we are going to use probability theory okay so let's understand uh, what probability basically means okay so suppose you are here at location a okay and your uh, girlfriend or your boyfriend is waiting here okay your girlfriend or your boyfriend is waiting here now I want to know what is the probability that you will reach here in 45 minutes. So the probability is how do you make sure that uh, or do you know what is the chance that you will reach from location A to location B in 45 minutes. Okay? Now let us see what are the factors that is going to influence your uh, this time okay okay the first thing is the distance of course the how far the point a is from point b uh, second thing could be the traffic and also will depend on whether you are taking a train then in that case uh, instead of traffic then it can be the congestions or the timings of the train that is going to influence um, you are going if you are using a bike then it now it depends on the traffic and the weather conditions etc uh, the other factors could be weather right whether it is too hot rainy snowing um, then it also depends on any construction work going on now there can be millions of reasons why uh, you know this distance can be getting influenced and uh, these factors are going to play a very important role in figuring out that whether you will reach there in 45 minutes or not. Say if everything is fine, right? then on apart from the distance and maybe few traffic signals, uh, you can still be pos it will be still possible for you to reach there in 45 minutes. But in the real world, uh, many, many factors actually influence uh, is going to influence your chance of reaching, uh, you know, reaching from point A to point B uh, within 45 minutes, right? Okay. So um, now you know that uh, you know this. Uh, there will be so many factors that is going to influence, uh, you know, whether you'll reach there in 45 minutes or not. Now you repeat this experiment say 10 times. Okay. So first time, you know, you could reach there on time. So I'll say you reached on time in the first attempt, in the second attempt you still reached on time. When I say on time that means you reached within 45 minutes. On the third attempt could not, right? In the fourth attempt you could not, right? In the fifth attempt you could not. Uh, in the sixth attempt say on time. Say in the seventh attempt you were on time the eighth attempt you could not right and in the ninth attempt say you could not and in the tenth attempt say you were on time so probability means the occurrence of the favorable uh, event or outcome so in this case on time is my favorable uh, outcome so this is on time i reached uh, one two three four and five okay and the total number of times i attempted or anybody attempted to reach from point a to point b is 10 so that means your probability of reaching from location a to location b within 45 minutes is 0.5 that means you have a 50 percent chance that you will be able to reach there right now this is what is called probability it is a kind of a ratio that how many times you will get your favorable outcome if the experiment is repeated some 
x number of times. In this case, we say did it 10 times and we took 10 attempts to reach there in 45 minutes and out of that only 5 of that time we could reach there. Now, I could have tried 20 times, I could have tried 100 times and I then wanted to see how many times out of that many number of attempts I was able to do that. And uh, typically, this value lies between 0 and 1. 0 means none of the time you could reach there within 45 minutes and 1 is every time you reached from A to B within 45 minutes uh, and the remaining all these values will be within this. So, I hope you have learned what the basic concept of probability is and in our next video we will see uh, more and more interesting concepts. So, till then have a great day.